Alright guys, so uh, the last review I did was of course the uh, Jordan Retro 12 Wings. So I've just recently ordered another pair of shoes that I'm waiting on that will be arriving soon in a few days. So I decided to go ahead and do a vlog just to upload something for you guys to watch. And this is just my opinion. Um, you guys of course have your own opinion but this is what I think about um, the Adidas uh, you know, shoe line and how they're um, getting more attention and in, in the spotlight. So, um, Adidas did a really smart move by putting boost material in the uh, Yeezy Boost because I never knew what boost material was until I actually got a pair of these Yeezys because um, the Yeezy was so hyped up, everybody wanted a pair, and of course. I actually got a pair and when I tried it on, I was amazed at how comfortable it was. So I finally realized what boost material was because of the inside of the uh, the shoe. And of course, you guys who follow me uh, explained to me what boost material was. So um, I was just really amazed by it. So I got this shoe and I was so amazed by it that I went and bought um, the Ultra Boost and Pure Boost 2.0. So, comparable right now, comfort wise, uh, it, to Boost material, I will compare comfort wise um, Yeezys to Ultra Boost because the comfort in walking uh, is almost identical. Um, comfort wise, they both almost are identically comfortable. Now, Pure Boost 2.0 and the NMDs that dropped, I feel no difference at all. This shoe basically feels just like this shoe. All of the, this shoe is is basically a nicer version of this shoe. Um, it's receiving a lot of hype right now because they've been doing a lot of collaborations. They've been dropping those Prime Knit colorways, but this shoe basically replaced this shoe as um, their shoe to go for because this was only 130 this shoe cost 120 in store. So being 130 looking a lot nicer, of course people are going to go for this shoe. But walking around in both shoes, um, because I wore these as beaters and trying these on and walking around in a day in them, I felt no difference. But this does, of course, look a lot nicer, so... Um, I definitely do like the shoe a lot more than, of course, the Pure Boost 2.0. It's just that, comfort-wise, they're both very similar. Um, now, Ultra Boost, I really like a lot. The comfort is really great on these. I really don't know why they keep restocking these shoes because I don't know why they're selling out. Uh, I see retweets of saying, oh, restock of the uh, Mystery Grey, restock of the... Uh, all of white. Uh, I, I'll do a vlog later of showing you of me going into every store and all of them having every colorway out there so I don't know why these shoes continue to keep selling out. I really don't think this shoe is worth 180 I would say it would be priced maybe maybe 160 and I would buy more pairs of these but of course I got this if you watch my video blog about uh, copying these I got these shoes at 70% off actually. Um, both of these shoes because I went to the Adidas outlet and I got the shoe for pretty much 70% off um, I'm not gonna pay 180 for it um, Just because I don't feel that this shoe is worth 180 now this shoe um, Is definitely worth 200 because I feel that this shoe is more comfortable than this shoe because right here is very tight and it um, it hugs your foot too much to to me. It feels like it's it's just very, very tight. So I have to probably go half a size just so that it doesn't feel like it's you know so snug. Whereas the oh, the Yeezy is the prime knit material. Um and I actually got a size eight. Really I'm true to size of seven and a half on these. But with an eight and the prime knit material, it's a lot wider, so it doesn't hug onto my foot as tightly, so I feel a little bit more comfortable wearing these. So, 
In my opinion, the best shoe probably out of them, comfort wise, would be probably the Yeezy, then the Ultra Boost, then the NND, and then the Pure Boost 2.0. Um, is this worth 170? No, I think they should drop this down to maybe 140. Uh, if you guys have watched my blog um, on the uh, Pure Boost ZG, I think that shoe is more comfortable than this shoe, and that shoe is priced at 140 as well. It's just the reason why is that Pure Boost ZG is not as nice looking as this, but it, the comfort wise, if you go try on a pair and then kind of just walk around them, you'll feel the comfort level being way different from these shoes itself. Uh, because not only does it have this pure boost layer, it also has a very thick gel coating on the bottom of it, which disperses the weight evenly all, all the way across. Go try on a pair of the, the pure boost ZG. It's a really comfortable shoe, and I probably plan to get a pair myself later on just for comfort. But uh, of course, you know, these are hype. Everybody wants a pair of these. Um, they're dropping millions and millions of colorways. But Adidas made a really smart move by making this so limited that you can't get this shoe. So the next shoe to get um, that's affordable, that looks nice, that's cheap, that's hyped up is this shoe. So that's why the shoe is selling like crazy. Everybody's all lined up for them. The shoes, the collaborations are all um, way overpriced. But really, this shoe is just as comfortable as this shoe. Um, it's just that this one just looks a lot nicer. And yeah, the, the collaborations, they're pretty dope. I want a pair myself, but I'm not going to cry over if I miss it. So, like I said, this is just my opinion. If you guys have owned Boost Material shoes, and you've walked around in both both of these, um, you know, I, tell me what you think. If you disagree with me, comment in the comments below saying, you know, whether or not you disagree with me, but to me, really walking in these two shoes, they really felt the same. Now, walking around these two shoes, they both feel the same, but I prefer the Yeezy Boost, not just because of the hype, but because that it gives me that extra space because of the materials that they used on the upper. Um, Design-wise, um, I really wish they would just make this completely uncaged. Uh, I think it would look a lot better. Um, they're coming out with tons of more colorways of this. And I really don't would think that this shoe is worth 180. Uh, I'm glad I got this at a discount of 70% off. So I only got this shoe for maybe like 50, 60 bucks at most. And of course I paid retail for my Yeezys because I won them at ra raffle at my champ store. I would never pay resale prices for this shoe. Because I really don't think that paying $1,700, $1,200 for a pair of Yeezys is worth it. Uh, I'm not the type to uh, pay that much for hype like that. So everything I buy, I buy re uh, at retail. Um, I've only bought maybe a few shoes at resale prices. But resale prices were like maybe only $20 over retail. So because the shoes wouldn't move and they had, the people who had them just wanted to get rid of them. So, uh, I just wanted to do this vlog to kind of compare the boost materials between the different shoes and, you know, let you know what my opinions were. If you guys uh, feel differently, let me know in the comments. I just really feel that this shoe is just way overhyped uh, because, like I said, price-wise, this is just basically replacing this shoe. It looks nicer. But it's replacing this shoe because nobody's gonna buy, nobody's gonna go out there and spend 120 on this shoe when they can get this shoe for 130 and it looks a lot better. Uh, Ultra Boost, very great comfortable shoe. I really recommend it, but it's hard to shell out $180 for each colorway all the time because it's like paying like that for a Jordan um, and just a different colorway. Uh, when I collect Jordans, mostly because I'm trying to collect the, an OG set. So, um, Yeezys, if you're lucky and to be able to get a pair yourself, you'll feel the difference between this and the Ultra Boost, and you'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, but 
let me know in the comments of what your opinions are about the boost material. Uh, if you've owned a pair of Pure Boost 2.0 and a pair of the NMDs, and if you disagree, because look at it. Look at the thickness of the uh, Ultra Boost, uh, the boost material. It's almost identical in, in thickness. And then look, look at the inside. Same thing, right? So with those, cushioning on the Ultra Boost is way different. It has that torsion in the middle right there. And um, you can definitely feel the difference that this is a, a lot more comfortable. And with this one, it's a little bit more solid because of this rubber plasticky material that's covering the, the boost material. But it's still on par and as comfortable as this. But check out the vlog of that Pure Boost ZG I did and try it on. And you'll see what I'm talking about how that shoe is uh, very, very comfortable. It's just that the only thing is, is that the, if they were to change up the design of that material and then, or just change the design of it, or even make this shoe, right, but put the extra gel coating on the bottom of it. I mean, it would make this extremely comfortable and they could sell this shoe for 180 and, you know, 190, almost 200 because it, it would make it way, way more comfortable and I think people would like it more. But... Other than that, this is a dope looking shoe. I have no problems with it. I think it's just a little bit overhyped in my opinion. Um, uh, I really don't, you know, think that's worth 170 for the Prime Knit. But, um, you know, it's just impossible to get anyway uh, because they hype it up so much. Um, I was lucky enough to cop these because they're still sitting around in my stores. But um, these are pretty much the only colorways I'm probably going to get unless I get a collaboration shoe. Because I don't want to pay 130 170 for, you know, millions and millions of different colorways. I want to collect more um, rare Ultra Boost or Pure Boost or NMDs where it's not as common as these shoes. It's more rare of a shoe. I'm not trying to be a hype beast, but um, I just want more of a rare shoe than what everybody else is rocking. Because, I, I mean, if you guys have seen my whole collection, I've got all kinds of shoes. Um, this is a great shoe. I really like it a lot. But, um, you know, this is, I'm, you know, it's almost impossible to get Yeezys. Uh, I'm not even going to really try. That much anymore to try even get that shoe um, just because it's so hard to get and uh, I don't plan on buying any more Ultra Boost because I have a pair already I have two pairs actually and um, the NMDs I think are reasonably priced uh, so I may cop some more with the NMDs but um, if they're gonna continue to keep dropping all these colorways I'm not going to go crazy for it. Um, I got tons of other shoes I got cop. And price wise, I just can't afford it all. But anyway, like I said, this is just my opinion. Uh, tell me what you guys think. You know, Give me some feedback of what y'all think about the boost material. Um, which one's your favorite? Which one do you think is more comfortable? Which one you uh, prefer? Um, just give me some feedback of what you guys think. Because like I said, this is just a vlog and it's just my opinion. So, uh, until next time, when I get my shoe, which will arrive in a few days, when I do my next review, um, comment, subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and uh, peace out guys. Later.